Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So new research has come out and shown that the age of 122, which is the current human lifespan record, will be beaten. Not only that, by the end of the 21st century, someone will live to the age of 132. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new research has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read that was penned by Michael Pierce and Adrian Rafferty. They explain how when Jean Calamet of France died in 1997, at the age of 122 and 164 days, she set a record for the oldest human, and that record still stands. But they pose the question, will it be beaten soon? And if so, using scientific data, by how much? And there are links in the description below to the study and articles I used to put this presentation together. They say, as statisticians who study demography, they expect that her record will be broken by the year 2100. They describe how they studied maximum human lifespan using a data-driven approach and that their peer-reviewed study, published in 2021, models and combines two key components how the risk of dying flattens after the age of 110 and growth in the number of people who reach 110 years of age during this century. They say their analysis of these two factors, which was completed before the COVID-19 pandemic, suggests it's nearly inevitable that someone will break the current record during the 21st century. They also say that lifespan of 122 years will be beaten, with an 89% chance of someone living up to at least the age of 126, but only a 3% chance that someone will reach the age of 132. So what of maximum lifespan? Scientists have long debated whether or not there is a fixed limit to human lifespan. Some biologists think the data shows that aging is not a disease that can be treated, but instead an inevitable process that cannot be fully stopped, whether through medical breakthroughs or by other means. Some demographers have argued that there is a natural limit to life expectancy, implying that maximum ages will also level off as well. However, others think there is good evidence that lifespans will continue to lengthen, at least for the lucky few. Several prominent biologists and medical experts have recently published findings suggesting there is hope for extending lifespan dramatically via medical interventions. Ultra wealthy tech titans like Tesla's Elon Musk and Google co-founder Sergey Brin are investing heavily in such research. In 2002, two demographers named Jim Open and James Vapel observed that between 1928 and 1990, limits to life expectancy proposed by leading demographers on average were broken just five years after their prediction. They also noted that flattening gains to life expectancy should not determine our view of maximum lifespan, as they are quite different things. The maximum is not the average. Even a pair of prominent demographers who come down on the side of a fixed limit to human lifespan, S.J. Olshansky and Bruce Carnes, acknowledged that there is no age at which death is absolutely certain, leaving open the possibility of continually broken lifespan records. Data on supercentenarians or those who reach the age of 110 are limited and are very often of poor quality. There is a problem of age attainment bias or the tendency of very old individuals to misinterpret or exaggerate their age. For this reason, they only use data from the International Database on Longevity, a collection of rigorously verified death records for supercentenarians. Yearly mortality rates generally increase as people age. For example, individuals are more likely to die at the age of 80 than at the age of 20. But this also changes for those who make it to 110 years of age. 
the best available data suggests that mortality rates for these super centenarians, while high, does not increase as they continue to age. In essence, this means super centenarians stop aging. Instead, super centenarians as a group have a steady but very high mortality rate of about 50% per year. This means that for every 1,000 individuals who reach the age of 110, we expect approximately 500 of them will have died before their 111th birthday and 250 more by the age of 112. Taken to its logical endpoint, this pattern suggests that only one of 1,000 will reach the age of 120 and only one in a million supercentenarians will actually reach the age of 130. Even more interesting, traditional demographic factors such as sex and nationality that affect mortality rates also appear not to affect supercentenarians, but scientists have yet to figure out what factors lead supercentenarians to live as long as they do. Do they benefit from excellent genetics or healthy environments or some other factor as of yet unidentified? They appear to be extraordinary individuals, but the exact reason is still unclear. This pattern led them to the second component of their study that's projecting how many people will actually reach the age of 110 during the 21st century and that ends in the year 2100. Using population forecasting methods developed by their research group and now used by the United Nations, they found that the large mid 20th century population growth will likely lead to an orders of magnitude increase in the supercentenarian population by the year 2100. Their estimate suggests that about 300,000 people will reach the age of 110 by 2080, give or take about 100,000. Although this range is well below a million, it makes the one in a million chance that at least one of them will reach the age of 130 a real possibility. Their results indicate there's a 13% chance that an individual will reach the age of 130 and a very tiny chance that anyone lives to the age of 135 during this century. In other words, the data suggests that lifespan may not have a hard limit, but a practical one. Humans will almost certainly break the current record of 122 years this century, but probably not by more than a decade. So the practical limit could be 131 years of age. They say that although they carried out their analysis using data collected before the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on life expectancy, they believe their overall findings still remain accurate. The pandemic may indeed lead to a somewhat smaller number of 21st century supercentenarians, but that reduction is unlikely to be very large and any large effect on their mortality past the age of 110 is unlikely to last for many years into the future. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. An awful lot of data there with an awful lot of projections. One that I found particularly interesting um, or one that I'd like to focus in on is the maximum lifespan is not average lifespan. We all know the maximum lifespan of 120 is classed by many demographers as the outlier. I think that the majority of people who watch this channel who are carrying out their own anti-aging journey are aiming to be those outliers. 